Moon Knight Episode 6 transforms May Kalamoy's Layla into a brand new MCU superhero. Who is she? What are her powers? And how do the comics compare? Moon Knight Season 1's finale debuts Layla as Scarlet Scarab, a transformation heavily foreshadowed by previous episodes. Layla was nicknamed Little Scarab by her father, who wore a red scarf embroidered with a scarab motif, and in Moon Knight Episode 4's trippy hospital sequence, Layla wore a finger bandage adorned with a red scarab beetle. Now those hints have been paid off, how does Layla's origin story compare to the Marvel comics? What powers does she possess? <laughs> And what does her MCU future hold? Layla is Scarlet Scarab. Oh, shit. Moon Knight's Layla El Fauli is not an established Marvel creation, but her backstory and characterization closely mirror a comic character called Marlene Alron. Just like Layla, Marlene became an archaeologist and Mark Spector's lover after her father was killed by mercenaries at an Egyptian dig site. Until now, Moon Knight's Layla has been largely indistinguishable from Marlene. But Episode 6's Scarlet Scarab transformation marks a major detour, since Marlene never makes the leap into superheroism. Nevertheless, Moon Knight remains true to its source material, sort of. Marvel's Scarlet Scarab title was first held by Abdul Fowl, notice the similarity to Moon Knight's Abdallah El Fauli, before passing to his son, Mehemet. In his debut comic appearance, Dr. Fowl secretly led the Sons of the Scarab, a group of patriotic Egyptians who opposed British control of their country. For context, Egypt gained independence from Britain in 1922, but a colonial presence remained through until World War II, when the Allies used Egypt as a base. After tricking Human Torch and Namor into locating the legendary Ruby Scarab, Fowl seized the mystical relic for himself and transformed into Scarlet Scarab for the first time. Although he initially opposed the invaders, World War II superheroes led by Steve Rogers, Scarlet Scarab reluctantly switched sides upon realizing the Nazis were considerably worse. Imbued with supernatural gifts, Fowl then protected Egypt, before passing the ruby scarab down to his son. Needless to say, Layla's superhero origin is completely altered without the comic's World War II setting. Rather than seeking power to fight the British, which might get a little awkward every time Stephen Grant pops out, Layla reluctantly receives her new abilities as a means of bringing down Arthur Harrow and Amit. And instead of Abdul Fowl's ruby scarab gem, the source of Layla's power is very similar to Mark Spector's, only with Taurat in place of Khonshu. Despite these changes, Moon Knight does create a small thread of continuity between Layla and her father, which echoes the bond between Abdul and Mehmet Fowl in the Marvel comics. What happened to my father? Though Abdallah El Fauli was never Scarlet Scarab, Taurat did encounter him in the afterlife and tells Layla he'd be extremely proud of her becoming a superhero. The MCU's Scarlet Scarab also shares the comic version's mission to protect Egypt, as when a young bystander asks Layla whether she's an Egyptian superhero, the Scarab boldly answers, I am. <laughs> Drawing her power from Torit, Layla's Scarlet Scarab abilities are more or less identical to Moon Knight's. The Egyptian hippo god grants her avatar a divine armor that can deflect bullets and magic with ease. Whereas Mark Spector gets a moon-shaped blade and Stephen Grant uses nightsticks, Layla's Scarlet Scarab costume comes bestowed with a pair of twin swords. Like her husband, Layla was already pretty handy in a fight, but accepting Taurat as an avatar grants her superhuman strength, endurance and agility, performing ridiculous feats of gymnastics, absorbing magical blasts from Arthur Harrow's cane, and ripping off a car door without breaking a sweat. Using her costume's wings, Layla also receives some degree of flying ability. Although she doesn't take enough damage in Moon Knight Episode 6 to say for certain, it's probably safe to assume Taurat's presence affords Layla the same regenerative capacity Mark and Steven get from Khonshu. Moon Knight subtly hints that Scarlet Scarab's MCU journey is only just beginning. A white-eyed young civilian asks whether Layla is an Egyptian superhero during the final battle, and she accepts this honor with a proud smile. 